Yeah, I don't think so. I think the right answer here is A, boundary conditions. The, the When we work out these scenarios, what we're doing is we're determining things like the amount of carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere 20 years from now in the future, 40 years from now in the future, whatever. And so that we can use that as boundary conditions when we're driving the model at that point in its integration. All right, follow the link below this video to move on to question, I'm sorry, to part two of the lecture.